Hello, everyone. So this is the PDDB, and um, there is some changes to um, the Devourer um, jungle item, um, and there's some changes to um, some champions like Zin Zhao. His um, AP ratio on his battle cry uh, heal is down from 70% to 50%. Um, I, you know, it, it, usually you don't go AP with him, um, even though uh, an AP jungler isn't too bad um, with uh, his attack speed. And with the new uh, Devourer, um, it may be a, a, a build which you could do uh, more effectively. Um, but uh, so with the new Devourer, um, you get it, you can upgrade it um, to, let me see what it's called. Um, you can upgrade it to what's called the um, Salted Devourer. And uh, when, it's nor when it's just the Devourer, you get this shadow wolf that follows you. And um, when you get to 30 stacks, um, it turns into the Salted Devourer. So this uh, should give me one stack, and I'll show what happens when you devour the... Uh, when, you when you kill it. You listen to the wolf here. So you notice it went into the wolf and, you know, he howled. All right, so you get one stack for large monsters, uh, like like um, those in the wolf. You get two stacks for the scuttler, and you get five stacks for dragon. So I'll take dragon here. And you can see how I'm, you know, healing pretty good, even though I've got the, you know, I, I don't have any AP. Uh, well, actually, I, I do. I got 28 from my runes. But, um, you know, he, with just these two items, you can easily solo dragon. All right. So there, it just upgraded. Now, you the, the wolf goes into your body and you absorb him. And now you have the salted devourer. And what it does is you lose the stack, so you don't get the stack damage, but instead you get um, the phantom hit. It's a passive, so basically every other basic attack will trigger a phantom attack that deal that triggers all on hit effects a second time. So you don't actually do any damage with the phantom hit, but um, you do do on hits. Now let's see. I don't know if Zin Zhao's heal will be triggered by this. Let's see. And you can see, you see there was this there was the uh, shadow hit. And actually, you know what? I don't have any health missing, so it's not going to show up here. I'll have to attack. Um, well, let, let's attack uh, blue and have it attack me for a while. So come on, let's lose the health here. Now, I know there's some bugs with um, some powers, that, and certain powers won't trigger. Um, all right, here we go. Let's see. That's one. It's hard to see. All right, it triggered. One, two. Triggered. One, two. It triggered. One, two. All right, so it does trigger. So, basically... Um, with Zin Zhao, his heal is doubled, which is probably why they nerfed the AP ratio on it. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, I like jungling with Zin Zhao, so I think that uh, that's going to work out pretty well. Um, yeah, you can see the shadow, uh, the phantom hit there. Um, so then you're going to want to get items. So I know that items that do... And let's let's go get some of those items that do trigger um, a secondary on hit. Um, is um, I believe Blade of the Rune King. Um, I believe. Um, uh, Nasher's Tooth. I believe the basic attack um, thing triggers, and. Um, what's the other one? Um, 
it's not AP. And wit's end. So I'm going to get wit's end here. And let's see, can I get Nash's tooth? Um, not enough for Nasher's tooth. So let's get um, Blade of the Rune King. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna. I didn't get. I should have gotten um, teleport. I'll pause it. All right. So here's just with Wit's End. Let's see how quickly, uh, or see if we see the extra damage there. Yeah, you can see. And it's pretty. I mean, just with that one item, he's melting things pretty quickly. Um, yeah, you can see it. Boom. 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 Yep. So Wit's End works. And let's go get Nasher's Tooth. And um, I'll sell Wit's End. So we're not seeing that. So we sell this and we pick up Nasher's tooth. All right. All right, here we are with Nasher's tooth. Let's see how quickly this works. Yeah, and you can watch it. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. So yeah, so Nasher's Tooth triggers also. So you can just think of, you know, um, like a Cho'Goth. Uh, I know that his um, his E, the, the thorns that he shoots out, they trigger twice. So you could do Nasher's Tooth within, within and then Cho'Goth's um, E is going to do tons of damage. Here, let's push this out. I don't want them to get an inhibitor. Oh, they already got one. Oh no, no, they got the tower. All right. Um, some other things I know. I know. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video, or I'll I'll, I'll pause this and then I'll I'll do this with um, other champions like uh, Warwick. I believe his passive heal also triggers. Um, on the the um, phantom so I, I don't know some champions i think are going to be just broken with uh this new um salted uh devourer so um let's go get um so let's go back so we now know that nasher's tooth works as well um i'm gonna pick up uh wait, let's see what oh um the other one is um so we'll sell this and we will get Blade of the Rune King. Try that one out. Okay, so here we are. Let's see. This is with Blade of the Rune King. Let's watch his health here. Should see two triggers on it. Yep, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. So Blade of the Rune King does the 8% twice, uh, every other twice. So then... Let me see what other ones. Um, trying to think of other um, items that trigger on hit. So this will probably stack up faster, possibly. That's a slow... Uh, it's possible that the the Hydra. Let's sell. Pick up the Hydra. So it's possible that the Hydra will trigger twice. Let's see. Yep. You can see it. You can see the wave happening twice. So. I really think that this th item is going to need tweaking because um, some of these things are just going to make um, attack speed um, champions broken. I mean, even even just with Zin Zhao and his uh, heal, um, you know, they they nerfed it from seventy to fifty percent, but he then gets a fifty percent boost. 
So, so let's let's get. I'm going to pick up. I think I no. I've sold enough. I, do, I don't have enough to get all of them. I'll do that. I'll, I'll get all of them. And um, and let's see how fast it can melt things. So one other thing with uh, Zin Zhao, and I hope that I'm going to lose here, or I'm going to win here soon. But anyway, here's another um, thing with Zin Zhao. The Phantom triggers his um, three Talon Strike on the second hit. So here, I'll activate it. One, two, and it's up. So another thing that I believe also is true is that so the um, Salted Devourer has a plus 60 magic damage on hit. I believe that also triggers uh, twice every other hit. All right, so here I am. I've got um, the Hydra, Blade of the Rune King, and Wit's End, and the Salted um, Devourer. All right, so I've got 222 attack damage and um, almost... Yeah, almost um, 2.0 um, attack speed just with those items. And let's how, see how I am against Baron. Oh, I won. Jeez. Ah, uh, <laughs> funny. I wasn't healing as quickly as I'd like to have. Um, you know, I think with um, Nasher's Tooth um, and another a AP item, um, that's how you build for Zin's out a solo Baron. But um, it would have done very well. Um, I mean, just there, um, he was doing you know s significant damage. I didn't get a good sh um, shot of him doing um, with those three items or four items, sorry, um, on a jungle camp. But even without. Um, Blade of the Rune King, I was destroying a jungle camp, a, a, like a blue buff or red buff, in about uh, five hits. Uh, it was gone. So it's very effective. Um, the item, I think, is too powerful. I think they're going to need to tweak it more. But uh, I'll, I'll let, let's do um, Warwick and, um, and Cho'Goth here. So hold on. All right, so here's Warwick, and you can see how fast his passive is triggering there. So his passive stacks up and will heal every other hit twice. It's quite fast. It also de it also triggers the damage. Um, Twice as well, so it'll stack up to three times and then um, heal and damage twice. So Warwick could become a pretty. So I think what they're doing is they are making it so that I mean they buffed the the uh, tank junglers right, and now they're buffing the um, attack speed assassin style you know, junglers. So let's. And the other thing is also Warwick's um, ultimate. So it triggers attacks five times, triggering on hits attacks five times. So it actually does it seven times. Um, and I suppose if you time it just right, you, know, you do one attack, then do your ultimate, you'll actually get... Um, you'll actually uh, get eight off on it. I'm gonna see. Um, I'll, um, I'm gonna get one more item. I'm gonna get Wit's End, and then um, we'll see how um, how he does against Baron at 15. Warwick doesn't... Oh, he does scale off of AP. Just for that, though. Um, 
Actually, let's do um, dragon instead of baron. I mean, I suppose eh, I could do dragon or uh, baron. All right, let's see here. Now you here you can see the shadow hitting twice. All right, so here we go. Let's see how this works out. And he heals quite quickly. Oops, tried to dodge that. <laughs> Still don't quite have it to a solo Baron, but... That's to be expected at, at this level. Uh, here, let's hit... I'll do Dragon, and then I will um, kill Yi again using my ult. So, you can see how fast he'll heal up here. Yeah, just look at that. Yeah, if I had my, um, if I had the spirit visage, that would be even faster. All right, let's find E. All right, so here he is. Now you don't want to scare him off. Come here, dude. Alright, and then I'm gonna ult him here. Yeah. Just melts him away. Because that's triggering Blade of the Rune King and Wit's End. Um, each of those a minimum of seven times. <laughs> uh, and then I had, um, I don't remember how many stacks I had on him. Because um, the stacks, you know, just wonder if, yeah, those, yeah, those stack up twice as fast as well. So um, next, I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna do fizz next. Um, because of his, uh, W and his Q, I think has a passive portion. It'll be interesting. All right. All right. So here is Fizz. Now it shouldn't affect his passive of his E. But the active portion is going to be um sorry, so here is regular attacks. Turn on the active and it, yep, double hit, double hit. So the uh part where for six seconds he gets fifty plus sixteen magic damage on hit, that triggers every other hit. Um, I don't think Urchin Strike does anything extra. So we'll hit once, then we'll Urchin Strike. Yeah, I didn't see it. Let's wait here. Okay, that was the path. The, the, all right, so one. Yep, no, I did not see um, his um, phantom attack there. Um, I'm going to get Nasher's Tooth, and then I'll Dragon, um, so we can see how his passive works there. Oh, I actually have enough to add, um, let's see, um, probably uh, the Wit's End. 
Oh, I don't have enough for that. We'll just go with the extra attack speed. So, um, this is just with Nash's Tooth. I probably have enough, don't I? Well, almost for the wit's end. But, um, so let's try Dragon. Alright, so... Without passive. With active. Pretty fast. And that's with that's with two items. All right, let's go kill him. Oh, I'm oh good. I have enough just for wit's end. Um, not necessarily the what you'd want to do on uh on Fizz, but you know, uh, with with the uh, Salt of Devour, it, it may be something you want to do. Um, and of course you'd want your um, Blade of the Rune King. So basically, champions that have, um, yeah, hold on. Yeah, so champions that have an on-hit uh, passive, you really want to just go attack speed to get it going as quickly as possible. I mean, just look how fast he does this. I mean, it's it's a bit scary. Um, and I just realized, you know, you've got champions like um, Shen, which every other auto attack um, triggers his is it no every seven I'll have to go look at him um, he he has a um, his um, I don't remember what it's called his Bushido um, whatever um Um, passive triggers every seven, I think it's every seven basic attacks. So, does that mean it triggers every three and a half? You know, is it basically um, doubling his passive? Um, and then, um, and I th someone, I don't remember who it is, someone does, um, um, gets energy from every so often basic attacks. Um, so does that trigger? Um, it'll be interesting to see. I'll, I'll have to load... Oops, can't go over that portion of the wall. Okay. Uh, I can't see them. Oh, wait. There we go. And let's kill Mundo one more time. A little more extra attack speed. I'll load up Shen and see if if his passive is triggered off of um, so many back basic attacks. Um, I'll test it out. Okay, actually, never mind. Let's go right to Shen. Um, so Shen's uh, passive is every nine seconds, his next basic attack restores 10 energy and deals 8 plus 10% uh, of his bonus health as magic damage. But the port that I'm interested in is each time Shen's attacks a minion or champion, his key strike cooldown is reduced by one second. 
So I'm going to find out if his um, if the phantom hit will reduce the cooldown. Because um, that would then mean what? Um, he will get his um, key strike every... Um, um, what, four and a half seconds? Well, it actually depends on his attack speed. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. We'll see what it does. Okay, here we are with Shen, and um, I've got the um, Salted Devourer. Um, I've got Wit's End, Stinger, and Sheen for activation. All right, so every seven seconds, um, his next attack will gain him 30 energy and deal 56 uh, bonus magic damage. Uh, 50, uh, what is that? Actually, 67. Anyway, and then his basic attacks will lower this by one second. So, theoretically, if this works, um, the phantom trigger will happen, and so it should be half the time. So it should be three and a half seconds per trigger. So let's see. Oops. All right. So, all right, here we are. We hit five. We hit one, two, three. Yep. So it is working for each. Um, so in a sense, it's going to have Shen's passive. So now you're going to get attack speed and with like wit's end. And, uh, and then stack hit points, right? Because they'll beef up, you know, his... Um, like, even if you don't, I mean, he still's hitting pretty, pretty well. Oh, and it's ticking down, actually, so it's about every three seconds it should go off. Because it naturally ticks down... Anyway, so there you have it. Um, another champion's, um, you know, ability or passive that is affected by uh, this salted devourer. Okay, this video has gone long enough. I'm gonna leave it at that. I know for a fact that. Um, Cho'Goth's uh, E, the thorns that he throws out, also triggers um, off of it. So um, I think it's a third more um, damage for that. So every, yeah, every two he hits three times with it, um, which is pretty OP, I think. <clears throat> So we'll see what happens what they do with this, All right? So if you've liked this video, please uh, subscribe. I'm going to be updating with more um, updates from the PBE, um, and you can check out my older videos. Um, so thank you very much.